Hi friends and welcome to today's Tuesday travel vlog where every Tuesday I post a new video about the cool places that I've been and the fun things that I've done as I travel cross country in my RV. Before we continue, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell icon so you can get notified of all of my videos. Today's Tuesday travel vlog comes to you from Gila National Forest and the home of the Gila Cliff Dwelling. To get to the National Monument, which was established under Roosevelt, it's about a two hour drive from the nearest city. The nearest city is Silver City, New Mexico. From there, they say it's about a mile hike to get up to the caves themselves. It's a beautiful hike through the area, past some wonderful streams. I am here in December, so there is snow on the ground. You then have to climb about 200 stairs to get up to the top, but it, they're not that steep. It's not that bad. Um, you just take your time. There's plenty of places to rest, enjoy the beautiful scenery. The valley where you can find the cliff dwellings was formed naturally. Gravity, streams, volcanic activity. And it was felt that these caves were used by humans much earlier than the, than the cliff dwellings were built. They feel that in the 1280s, the Mongolians, which is a Spanish word for the families here, carved out rooms within these caves and lived here for, for many years. There's about 40 different rooms that they've been able to find in all of these different caves. The layers of soot and the tools that have found here believe that humans have camped in these caves for thousands of years. You can walk through one of the cave cliff dwellings where you can see the rooms that were built. You can see where there may have been a fireplace. You can see the little different areas that people would use for their family dwellings, as well as the large area. The soot is still on the ceilings from their fires, but it is very neat to be able to walk through here and see these histories. They believe these caves were abandoned in the 1300s. The reasons they left the caves isn't really clear, but they didn't disappear. The culture still exists in many of the Pueblo cultures of today that you can find in the New Mexico and Mexico regions. The walk back, you come down a ladder out of the cliffs. Uh, if you so choose, there is an easier way out, of course. And then there's the back end of the trail that takes you down a very snowy, slopey area. This national monument is it's very much out of the way, but it is a fantastic hike. It's beautiful and it is so neat to be able to see these dwellings that they carved out of these cliffs. Yes, the, the caves themselves were kind of already formed by nature, but then the people came in, formed themselves rooms. You know, they had family groups here and it's just amazing to be able to see these and be able to come up here and have this hike. I highly recommend it. It was a long drive. Uh, it was two hours to get to the cliff dwellings followed by a wonderful hike. So I figured it was time to sit and enjoy a little bit of rejuvenation in some local hot springs here in a town that's called Gila Hot Springs. The temperature of the water is 104.5 and it feels wonderful. So thanks a lot for traveling along with me today. I always appreciate having you on the road. Be sure to check out all my other videos and I will see you next Tuesday.